Hey everybody, it's Just the Average Preppers. Today we're doing a review on portable toilets. So I did some looking online and found an idea on Pinterest of using a pool noodle and a bucket and as you can see the toilet paper is around the handle which was a really good idea. So we're going to test that out and show you guys what we found um, what we found out about it. We're also going to compare the Luggable Lou and show you how the Squatty Potty works. So if you've never heard of the Squatty Potty, it is an amazing invention that goes around your normal household toilet um, and you just put your feet up on it when you need to go number two and it makes things so much easier. So we decided that we were going to see if the Squatty Potty worked with the portable toilets. So today my prepper number two is going to demonstrate how the pool noodle goes around the bucket and the idea that we got from Pinterest. So we're going to put the links to the Pinterest and the Luggable Lou and the Squatty Potty. We're going to put those in the description of the video in case you guys want to see all this for yourself. You can check it out. So right now, prepper number two is going to put the pool noodle around the edge of just a plain blue bucket that we got from Lowe's and the idea is that the pool noodle provides enough cushioning for you to sit on and of course you're going to want to line the bucket with a plastic bag um, a pretty durable plastic bag I would suggest and then you know there's biodegradable uh, treatments that you can put in it to control odors or you know you can even just use sawdust that helps compost the stuff that's inside and absorb liquids and stuff like that so um, here we go prepper number two is gonna put the pool noodle around the bucket and show you guys how it works so as you can see with the pool noodle we had to cut a line down the middle of it to get it to go around the bucket and I can tell you immediately off the bat, this is not the easiest thing to do. And it takes a lot of energy, a lot of exertion to get it. And as you can see, uh, it just continues. You try to form it, try to get it around, and it continues to pop off. To me, this invention, although it looks pretty on Pinterest, it's just not really practical. You could glue it down, but it just doesn't work. So I'm not going to continue just to struggle back and forth. As you can see, even with it, with a little bit of force and exertion, it begins to rip right here on it. On not only this end, but it'll start to rip, as you can see right here, by splitting apart the pool noodle. So we went to another idea, and we said, well, how about we take the pool noodle, and we cut it into threes, and we'll see how it sits on there. Well, there's a fourth one also, just in case, to see how it works. So what we did is we cut it into threes, and we put it on here to see if it would work. And as you can see, it works relatively well. It does stay on there. You can go and you can sit on it just like this. It works real nice. But as you can see, if you have substantial weight, or anybody who, who may be heavy, as it does again, it starts to rip right here. And it just doesn't conform to the bowl in the most ergonomic way. So our conclusion was, although it looked very beautiful on Pinterest, and it was a good idea, the whole pool noodle just doesn't work. Cutting it in threes or fours, however you want to do it, doesn't work either. So, we're going to go with the Luggable Lou. Now, the pool noodle, on average, costs about $2.94, $3. The Luggable Lou, between anywhere from $12 to $16, as we priced it. I found it best at Walmart for $13. So, here you go. You just take the Luggable Lou, put on any bucket, snaps on real easy. It stays on, conforms nice, as you can see, it's contoured to where you can sit on there, and it fits your body, 
and actually it fits really nice. It's actually very comfortable. It's more comfortable than the pool noodle. You can reach over here, you can get your toilet paper, you can sit there, you can enjoy yourself. Now another thing the prepper number one said is the squatty potty. Squatty potty is meant to fit around your basic household toilet. So we wanted to see if the squatty potty, which is a great invention, and we please ask you to check it out. We're not getting any kickbacks from any of these devices or, or businesses. So we want to see if it fit around the Lowe's bucket. So you lift the handle up, slide it in, and as you can see, squatty potty fits perfectly around the basin of the Lowe's bucket. Now if you wanted to use the bathroom, you go here, you sit down, you pull the squatty potty out, sit on the comfortable luggable loo, which would be filled with the liner, you put your feet up, you take care of your man business or your woman business, do what you need to do, put the squatty potty back, you gotta lift up the toilet paper a little bit, obviously, put that back, close the lid, and there you go. You take care of your business, you're done, you're a happy individual. Turning it back over to prepper number one. So that was our review of portable toilets in the event that, you know, your water system is not available and, you know, there's always going to be human waste that needs to be dealt with. So these are a couple ideas that you can use. You know, Squatty Potty is obviously a luxury, but we thought we'd throw that in there anyway because it does fit around the bucket just as well as it fits around our toilet. So we <laughs> we wanted to put, you know, show you guys that. Um, so with that conclusion, like I said, we'll leave the links in the description of the video and have a great day.